Hi there everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Lawn Fawn Magic Iris die set. So in front of me here I have a sample card that was made using the Lawn Fawn Magic Iris as well as the Snow Globe add-on die that goes along with the Magic Iris. This card is part of a kit that we're offering right now. It's available on our website. So this is one of four of the cards. And this opens up here to reveal a gingerbread man and his little house in there. And this moving part is the magic iris. So here I have our magic iris set. As you can see, ours is well loved. We use it all the time at the store. It has a few different pieces here. This piece here is the ring. This one here, Lawn Fawn calls the sausage piece. This piece here, they also call the flux capacitor piece. We have the stabilizer, the pull tab, and then the decorative arrow that goes on top of the pull tab. I wanted to point out why this die looks a bit different color than the others. I'm not sure if you can tell on video, but there is some wax paper in here. Now the reason that we have the wax paper is because when you use this die in particular, the paper fits in there very snug. So it makes it a little hard for um, the paper to release, even with the holes there to use your tool to get the paper out. Sometimes it's still a bit stuck. So a trick that Chris taught me was to layer a piece of wax paper in between your die and the paper that you're cutting and it makes it so much easier to get that paper out of there. So this bit of wax paper pretty much lives in ours because we do use it so often. So what you're going to need to cut, first we'll start with the ring. You're going to cut three of the rings and as you can see, one of my rings is different than the others. This one here, I ran through the die cut machine again with this flux capacitor piece on top. And that creates these little slots here. It also creates little guides. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there are some little guides right here. So we have three rings, one of which we cut with this piece here. Next, I cut three of the stabilizer pieces, this one here. So three of those. And then you're going to want to cut three of the sausage pieces. And I just cut one pull tab. You can do the decorative piece as well. I didn't do it this time, but that decorative piece is what we use to cut that glitter paper on this one right here. Just to let the receiver of your card know to pull that down. So now we'll start assembling our magic iris. So you're going to need the pieces we just cut as well as some tape runner and some adhesive dots. The size of the adhesive dots is important. You're going to want a small dot or a mini. The first thing we're going to do is take our ring that has the three slots cut into it. And we're also going to need our three sausages. What you're going to do is hook this little tab right into this slot like that and push it to the edge and that sausage curve should line right up with that ring there and we're going to do this for all three so again put it in the slot push it to the outside and turn it here so that it lines up with that ring And one more time. Now they should be overlapping on top of each other. Okay. 
Our next step is to apply our adhesive dots. On the sausage, there is a small X. That's where we're going to be applying our adhesive. So I'm just going to take a dot and stick that right on the X. And I'm going to do that for all three. And we have one more. Okay. So now we're going to take one of the plain rings here. And once we have these sausages situated to where they are perfectly lined up with that inner ring, I'm going to hold it in place here as best I can with one hand. Once I get done fiddling with it. And I'm going to take this plain ring right on top. So the only thing that's going to be holding this all together are those three little glue dots. So now you should have something that looks like this. Don't worry about these little tabs. We'll get around to hiding them later. So now you're going to flip this over. And this is where you're going to want to look for those guides that were die cut. So they're a little hard to see on this paper that I'm using. But I'm going to take my tape runner. I'm going to go from the middle here all the way up to the edge in a straight line where that guide is. And I'm going to do that on all three. So now that I have my tape runner down, where my guides are, I'm going to take the stabilizer pieces. And as you can see, there's a little curve, uh -oh, a little curve here cut on the stabilizer piece and that's going to line up right there against that inner ring. So I'm going to do that with all three of my stabilizers. One thing I would like to point out when you're working with the Magic Iris you do not want to use a liquid adhesive. Um, if any were to get on any piece where it's not supposed to be, it can stop the magic iris from working. Okay, now I have my stabilizers attached to the back. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. And you're just going to pick one of the three stabilizers. It doesn't matter which one since they're all the same and point it down towards you. Now you're going to take the tab. You're going to find that stabilizer, you point it down towards you, and you're going to adhere this tab right up against the inner ring, and you also want it to create a little V shape right there between the stabilizer and the pull tab. You don't want them overlapping, you want it just close enough, just like that. So I'm just going to use some tape runner to apply this here. And I'm going to adhere my pull tab to the right of the stabilizer. It's important that it goes on the right side of the stabilizer. So I'm just going to line that up, creating that V shape there with the stabilizer and making sure that it's lined up with that ring. So this is what we should have so far. And the last step is to take your last plain ring 
and you're just going to lay it right on top. And you're not going to apply any adhesive. You're just going to lay it on top. Make sure it's lined up. And you're going to apply adhesive to all three of your stabilizers. We're going to make sure this is all lined up here before we close it. And when you fold in your stabilizer, you do not want it to be too tight. You're just going to gently fold it over because you're going to want it to have enough room to work around. So I'm going to fold all three closed. They're not going to reach the center of the ring. So we're just going to fold those closed. And now we'll test to make sure our iris is working. There we go. So now that we have it closed, pull it down, and there we have it. If you're not going to be layering an add-on over top, I would suggest just folding these tabs on the back in from those sausage pieces just to hide them. And one thing that I like to do with the Magic Iris is to use some uh, foam adhesive or pop dots to pop it up. And there we have it. That's how you put together the Magic Iris from Lawn Fawn. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. You can comment below or just send us a message. Give us a call. Stop in store. We'll be glad to help you out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful.